Gentlemen, let's talk about the public release of handgun permit records that a a newspaper up the north. journal. I think the journal. It was a uh, New York newspaper. Mm-hmm. Um, released a five-page article, basically. It was a great article. I enjoyed the article. I thought the article was informative. Uh, had a lot of information. The the releasing the. Uh, <laughs> The actual map with people with gun permits on it probably wasn't the best idea in the world, but... Um, don't you think it was yeah, a little best, dangerous? No, I, I, I really don't think so. I, honestly... Well, my mind, it makes other people, you know, makes them targets. Like you're literally on a map. Before that, they were just lists in a public records listing. Like you literally had to know their name or address to look them up. What would you it prefer? Wasn't, if you were a handgun honestly, owner. Honestly, I just, I don't care. You don't I, care? I honestly don't care. They, they, okay, they released some public records. Get over it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The yeah. way I see it, it's legal, yeah, ethical, borderline, unethical. That's yeah. the way I guess I put it. But Yeah, I don't see a problem. It drew a lot of attention to uh, the article, which uh, I thought the article was worth reading. So, I don't have a problem. Um, I don't see that it, it puts like the hand, was it going to put somebody with a handgun permit in danger? Nah, I, I don't think so. What about criminals getting a hold of the newspaper and finding out the name yeah. and address? What are they gonna, really going to do with it? I mean, uh, I'm sorry, but if you're going to rob a house, there's like a, there's steps you have to take. Mm-hmm. Just having a map with people who own guns, how does that help you at all? You're not going to rob a house when somebody's home. Yeah, you know? but you can break in when they're not there and steal the gun if they don't carry it on them. But you have no idea how they store the gun. I mean, if they're responsible, you're not going to get into, you know, you're going to have to get equipment to get into their gun safe. How many, but, how many gun owners are responsible, though? <laughs> well, that, that seems to be a big problem. That's how guns get on the street. According to the people I've been talking to on the internet, every gun owner is a responsible gun owner, and the irresponsible ones are just this rare minority. But, you know, that's just what they say. But most, all, most people are idiots. But in all seriousness, don't you think it should be regulated? Uh, what, guns? Of course. <laughs> um, yeah, as much as cars are regulated, I guess. Uh, there's, okay, yeah, we should have... You shouldn't be able to walk out of a gun store with a gun. Period. Right. You should have safety training ahead of time. You should know things like, I don't know... Where am I going to keep the gun? Mm-hmm. You should have some sort of plan. If I have kids, where am I going to keep this gun that not only are they not going to find it, but they're not going to have access to it? Am I going to have a trigger lock in place to keep my kid from blowing my head off or blowing his own head off? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's a matter of responsibility, and there's you literally, you walk out of a gun store with a gun. You don't have to know anything about the gun. Yeah. All the training stuff comes with concealed carry permits. Yeah. That doesn't do a whole lot of good. I mean, there's uh, there was a guy uh, a couple of years ago in Florida who uh, shot himself, well, shot, shot his penis while cleaning his gun at a party. <laughs> Why would you clean your gun in the middle of a party? Room for people. Honestly, don't. No, he again. was probably bored. He again, was probably no. showing off and shot his. Or that he shot his dick. Um, oh God! Another, Safe spitting. Another guy. Another guy was uh, what last year or a couple of years ago. Um, this both of these guys are in Florida. Gotta love that. Um, had his girlfriend's gun, his girlfriend's pink gun, in the waistband in his waistband when he went to the store, and it accidentally went off. Again, this is a guy who shot his penis. And just because of <laughs> it's that, <fitting. laughs> just because of that, we need guys like this to have some extended mental health screening for before they get their guns. Mental health screening or is nice. Buy their guns. But training on how to handle storage. To, to drive a car, you have to pass a written test mm-hmm. to prove you can drive the car, <laughs> and then you have to pass a physical test. Mm-hmm. Same thing should be for guns. You should have to pass a written test based on the gun you're buying, and then you should have to actually go back into their range and pass a safety test. 
part of the written test would be how are you going to store this gun sort of thing, you know. Yeah, we, we don't want to scare gun owners and the public. We, we don't want guns to be stored away or taken from you. We just want better, we just want it regulated. We just, we just want idiots with guns to at least have some idea of how not to kill themselves and other people accidentally. Mental health screenings, extended mental health screenings. Yeah, yeah later when we get to our morons of the month, there are a couple of people who probably could have benefited from such training. 